Hello and welcome to the master. In this second part of the video, uh, I will be telling you like how to make this particular box. And uh, you can see uh, in the box I have uh, the text is there and the logo is there. So I will tell you like how you can extrude cut using a text and a logo and then again built up with a different body structure. So to do that, let's open up our new file here. So I'm going to open up a new part. So the first thing that I have to do is to actually change the units, which is centimeters. And let's make our angle here. Go to the top plane. And uh, okay, the dimensions are 30 and 100. Now the next thing that which I have to do is to actually extrude it. Extrude by 3 centimeters and it's fine. Now to make a box, I'm going to select a plane and uh, I will use the convert entities to actually copy the sketch. Then I will use the offset to make a copy of sketch at an offset distance. I am going to reverse it. The distance is actually 2 centimeters. Press OK. Then extrude it for like 70 centimeters. Uh, so this both of them are a single part. So I will keep it ticked here so we have a box here the next thing that we have to do is to actually put our text upon it so I'm gonna use a reference plane here at a distance of you can say 10 it is fine actually now the next step that I have to do is to draw a line here so if you go to the image and you will see that the text is kind of uh, midway above uh, to the body. So I will use that thing. So just let's, I think this distance will be fine. It's a random distance actually. Now the next thing which I want to do is to add a relation. So I'm going to find the midpoint of these two lines and make them vertical let's remove this edge and now it's fine you can see it the next okay we are done here now let's add our text here so you can type text here and search you will find the text the next thing that you will have to do is to type your text which you want here in my case it's messed up my channel's name i'm gonna change the font size and the font type here the size is 15 and the font is actually BEBAS. It's you might have to download this. So it's fine. The next step is actually to bring our logo here. So I have my logo in uh, actually, I prefer to. Um, we can do it. Okay, let's make do that thing in this one. So let's bring our logo here. So my logo is in Illustrator file. So just open it. So what it does, it opens up the logo in two places, Illustrator and SolidWorks. So you will have to wait for some time. So what does SolidWorks do? It it takes your logo and converts it into the sketch form, which you can process it later. I guess my logo will be opened here. Okay, the logo is here. Now what I'm going to do is to copy this sketch, select it and press Ctrl C. Now I'm going out of here. I'm going to select this plane. And press Ctrl V. Now you can see the logo is here. Now the next task is actually to place this guy here and there will also be a need of scaling. So let's do it. To do that just select it and right click. Go to sketch tools and move entities. Now you can see we are in XY so let's uh, it's a negative Y put the value like minus 30 not okay it's x actually make it minus 
25 i think 25 would might have to be fine okay it's fine no i will bring it okay it's um i think it's fine let's scale it first then we will place it again so i am selecting it here then i go to sketch tools and uh, scale it so i i will make it double with respect to this point it's fine now the task is again to move it i will put this particular line for the construction i will again now i'm going to place it move tool so it's going to be a short time it will take i think it's fine yes it's fine okay so the next thing that we have to do is to actually perform extrude cut using this guy and just yes we are okay so to do that just press up to next okay this guy is having special property so i am going to use up to vertex and i like this one so i will select my vertex here and the direction will be this press okay all bodies now you can see i have uh, extrude cut here so for the next part i am will hide this plane and the next part is like uh, i'll be using uh, these outer uh, outer parts and make a sketch then i will do extrude boss here so i have press into the add a sketch mode now i am going to select convert entities here then i will click on it click on this guy click on this guy and i will select select all inner loops now all of them are selected press okay and you will find that we have a this sketch here for the logo and for the text in the next step i am going to the extruder base boss actually okay i am going to select all of them one by one it really looks cool now now i just select them yes okay so you can see now the next thing is i like let's try up to surface so i want this to be extruded up to this surface direction is this particular direction and uh, i want this logo and this text has to be the different body than this box so i'm going to untick this merge layer and we are done here so help you visualize better i'm going to use uh, glass on the outer body and you can see it so we are done here in the next video i'll be telling you like how to make a fire and uh, also the coke that we will burn later in 3ds max so that's it for the video